Simply put, the parent layer influences the properties of another layer, that being the child layer. So likewise, the child layer takes on the properties of the parent layer. I'll demonstrate this parent-child relationship by importing a mother duck and her ducklings. I will also import and drag a water graphic into my layers panel. If you press the enter key on any layer, you can rename that layer to something that makes more sense to you. Press enter again to exit the renaming. I'll duplicate the water layer so that I will be able to place my ducks in between the layers for a more realistic effect. Now I'll drag the mother duck into the layers panel. I am resizing her by pulling in the handles and holding the shift key to maintain proportion. Now I'll drag in the ducklings and do the same thing. I am placing my ducklings in between the two water layers and hiding their feet. Now let's take a look at the duck layers transform properties. We'll click on the position stopwatch and create our first keyframe. I'll move the mother to the right and out of frame and then scrub the timeline to see the movement. Let's add a few more keyframes to make the movement a little more organic. It looks a little slow to me, so I'll tighten the timing by selecting the keyframes and moving them closer together. Looks better, but I think it needs one more keyframe. Now we need those ducklings to follow the mother duck. I could open up the ducklings layer and recreate the same kind of position animations, but this is where the parenting feature comes in handy. So instead, click and hold on the pick whip icon and drag it to the duck layer. We have just tagged the ducklings as the child layer and the duck as the parent layer. Now they are following the mother duck. They inherited all of her animation properties. I am zooming out so that I can edit the duck layer by moving her further off screen so that the ducklings will end off screen as well. Let's play and see what that looks like. Okay, let's do one more thing. We can still animate the ducklings layer. This will make the motion more organic. These animations will be in addition to the inherited animations of the parent layer. I'm adding a few keyframes to the rotation property. I am moving the time indicator and scrubbing the rotation parameters a little left or a little right. That should about do it. Now let's play. And now we've got our parent-child animation. 